this, this huge iceberg. It's one of the biggest icebergs ever recorded, and it's now floating off the coast of Antarctica. Scientists say this massive piece of ice broke off just in the last few days. Ted News anchor Lindsay Pena talking to a, a world expert right here in San Diego about just what a big deal this is. Come back down here, go down to Cairo, Alexandria. It might seem a little unusual to have a giant map of the world in your living room, but not if you're Dr. Pat Abbott. Coming across the ocean. I was this isn't just for decoration, though. All these pins are places he's been during his career as a geologist, including Antarctica, seven times, in fact. We actually walked on the Larsen ice shelf, walked on that exact area. The exact area where a massive chunk of ice just broke off. These satellite images show the coastline before and after. This ice mass that broke off was uh, more than half the size of San Diego County. The thickness would be, if you visualize our biggest skyscraper building downtown, double the height of it, and that would be the thickness of this. It's not just exceptionally big. Dr. Abbott says it's pretty old. So for this particular piece of ice that fell off, that would be many thousands of years old. Scientists have apparently been watching this area for a while now, knowing it wasn't a matter of if this would happen, but when. We knew it was coming. It's more a matter of, of, of time. We're seeing more of these breaking off now. It's part of this whole global warming you know, phenomenon that's going on, not only the atmosphere, but the ocean. Warming in the oceans means rising sea levels, which can definitely affect coastal communities like San Diego in the long, long run. It's not going to be dramatic. It's not, you're not going to be flooded overnight or, you know, even in the, a decade or whatever. But sea levels are rising, and once they start rising, well, it's hard to, it's hard to reverse it. So while it might be a while before the sea swallows up San Diego, Dr. Abbott says this is still a unique opportunity to see exactly how our planet is constantly changing. Little by little, we are all being collectively affected by this. Lindsay Pena, 10 News.